we started, you know, like uh, lead ventures with the vision of his, uh, his Royal Highness uh, Sheikh Sultan bin Abdullah bin Sultan Al Qasimi, we wanted to have this amazing vision where how can we support international companies, how can we set the expectation for them, and how can we support even local companies, some people like me. I want to set the right expectation for people who are coming to United Arab Emirates that they want to do the business. We all know that Dubai and United Arab Emirates, it's a land of opportunities. And this is where, you know, I said, we will have to create something in order just to set the expectation right. You know, when someone, when a company comes and they have something really promising, and in our business, especially for the business development, before we approve any partner, we always ask ourselves, is this technology or product or service, is this something that will make me feel proud to go to the market and meet decision makers? If the answer is yes, then I will partner with you. I will be your strategic partner and I will do whatever it takes to deliver. We really want to contribute to United Arab Emirates by bringing this amazing technology. We want to be, you know, I want to feel proud by passing by the street and seeing a successful story done by me and my partner in all fields. So this is our why. And we go, we travel the world in order to, in order to come and support, not support, I would say, to be part of the vision of His Royal Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid by him saying we want to be the first so he always encourage everyone so this is this is you know like this is something that we are planning uh, to do day, do uh, day by day where you know to expand our reach globally in order to spread the awareness to bring this amazing technology in my opinion social impact investing is to invest in fields and in places whereby it could have a, a direct and meaningful contribution to societies or humanity in general. And it can be sustainable. So it has to carry both hats, the hat of a business, sustainable business, and a hat of adding value to communities. And adding value is, is, a, is, a, is a white definition and, and terminology and could be in, min, in many aspects in many fields. That is what to me is impact investing. The aspect of, of a social need, meaning there is a either a, a problem or a desire or a demand. This goes in line with the basic idea of demand and supply. Question is, how would you get into understanding what what societies or humanity do, do need and developing something around that and make it sustainable. And, and, and that is, is not really far away from what a normal business line of thinking is, is about. And many institutions, and I would guess many more specifically family businesses, have that in their DNA because they are part of a community and they care about their uh, their their uh, social status and their and their integration with their society and they live among the society so they understand well or better in, in a way their needs and their uh, and, and their desires so uh, my short answer is that I don't see much of a difference between social impact investing and actual business is just what is the starting point and in this case the starting point is what the society needs and desires. Um, I represent the third generation within the family and we are um, uh, leading retailers in Saudi and we have the biggest uh, grocery online platform in Saudi. For the three years today we are on 70 stores. Um, we are planning to grow more and, and to enhance our presence in the uh, cities of Saudi Arabia as we see tremendous opportunities there, especially with the new Vision 2030. Lots of new cities are being built up. Um, we see that it's more, there is more opportunities for Saudis uh, having jobs and of course um, improving their um, uh, life uh, style. And 
what we offer as, as retail uh, stores, we offer them the experience, different shopping experience that we are offering in our stores. Uh, we are still going to enhance our presence in this local market. We are going to grow our online platform and we are looking for expanding our uh, uh, presence in the Gulf countries and in the Middle East, uh, inshallah. So the thing that, um, the legacy that I want to leave behind is to take the church and, and continue with the growth of the company and preserve the wealth that been made by my father and my uncles um, and even my grandfather and pass it on to the next generation even bigger and, and much a more, more uh, uh, a successful business uh, model. And of course we want to provide even better living style for all of our people who are working within our company. There is always a, a purpose that we are doing. It's not only about making money or creating the wealth or, or growing the business, but it's also taking care of the 10,000 homes that you know opened just for the people who are working with us. It's definitely um, a main component within the business. Uh, we always try to um, uh, improve the working environment for them. We want to help them to grow. We have so many people who worked for us and, and we always want to show to our people, and our team, that they are the most um, uh, important uh, part of our business. My family is specialized in food manufacturing and I was very interested in going into the technology and the IT sector and the e-commerce. So this was a step that was blessed by my family, so I took it. And thankfully, we've, we've now built one of the biggest, of the, the biggest uh, e-grocery e platforms in Saudi Arabia. And we're planning to expand to the GCC countries quite soon now. So now we're focusing on the uh, e-grocery platforms. What we're doing now is we're white labeling our technology, so to be able to provide the same services that we provide to Danube, to other retailers, and partnering with retailers all around the globe. So our, our aim is to actually expand throughout the globe with our IT services and our system. Well, actually, we, what, what makes us different is that we started as a retailer. We started as, uh, as, as a business. So we're not just an IT-focused company. What makes us different is that we understand the business language, we understand the business needs, the business problems. What we, what we want to do is to understand the problems of the business before implementing or suggesting a technology. Because sometimes you can actually offer a technology which does not fit with the business needs and then you'll be stuck with the retailer. So what we offer is a very deep analysis of the current situation of the retailer, of the business. We understand all the policies and procedures of the business, then we actually uh, suggest and implement a business technology or business uh, solution. So the right team is very important because we do understand that we cannot succeed or grow alone. We have a lot of decision makers in our uh, company. We have a lot of people that have uh, good authority to move and to act fast because in the technology world you have to act fast to be able to win uh, deals or businesses. So we really focus on hiring the best of the best always.